investor doing things on your own? How about someone working with a firm that isn't so responsive or in sync with your investment philosophy? My podcast talks you through all things financial. Look, there's stuff you don't deal with very often, but investments, insurance, and retirement is something we plan for each and every day. This is the Pennywise Financial Podcast, and welcome to the show. Welcome to the Pennywise Financial Podcast. This is Constantine here at Monarch Wealth Management. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, and I have two very important guests today on our show. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself first. We have Mr. Sebastian. Sebastian, go ahead. Hello. First Welcome of all. Welcome to Pennywise Financial Podcast. This is me, Sebastian. And who are you, Sebastian? I am Sebastian, and I have I have a summer sister. <laughs> you have a summer sister? That's right. You are my son. Sebastian is my one and only son. Sebastian Alexander Kitros. Welcome to the show. And Adriana is my summer sister, so she's she's here today. Your summer sister is here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Adriana. Welcome to the show. Hi, my name is Adriana, and um, you are my niece. Niece, welcome to the show. So you guys know how this works, right? We we run a podcast here every week. Yeah. This is called what? Pennywise. The Pennywise Financial Podcast. Pennywise Financial Podcast. That's right. And what do we talk about on our show? Um, Sports and helping people. Sports. Yes, sometimes we do talk about sports. Is that what you guys want to talk about today? Yes. Yeah. Sports. Another day, the next day, we... Um, another day we want to talk about uh, money and helping people save their money. Okay, let's talk about sports. First of all, Sebastian, why don't you tell us what sports you play? I play um, horseback riding. Horseback riding, okay. Baseball. Baseball. Hockey. Hockey. But not yet. But not yet, but it's coming up. Yes. I'm doing it with my friend. If he gets, if he gets it, if he skates better. If he skates better, what else? What other sports you play? Um, I mean, I want to do basketball. Basketball that could be up and coming, right? So you do swimming. Swimming. What about in the summertime? What do you play? What did you play last night? Baseball. 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 What's the other game that you play with, with a ball where you got to kick it into the net? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. So I think that makes up most of the sports pretty much. Um, How about you, Adriana? What sports do you play? I play soccer and I used to do dance. Soccer and dance. Those are fantastic. Guess what is nice about those and how they tie in our show? You guys have, have any idea? What do your moms and dads do to make sure that you guys can play those sports? They have to pay money. They've got to pay money. You believe that, Sebastian? Yes. Yeah. Hockey is very expensive. Very expensive. That's right. You must hear mom and dad talking about it. Because guess what happens with all these sports? You have to pay for things like ice time. You have to pay for the coaches, the referees. You have to pay for the equipment, right? There's all kinds of costs and then the uniforms and things like that. Even Even. you have to pay for food. You do have to pay for food. And you have to clean food. You have to clean. Well, yeah, you wash the food, the fruits, the vegetables. That's right. And you have to, um, you have to, um. Mm. It's okay. Take your time. Okay. We've taken enough time because I think it's only a half hour show. Maybe it's 15 minutes. I don't know today. So, um, but so we know that hockey is expensive. Buy, you have to buy everything, then clean them, and even pay buildings. Yes, you do. You got to pay for a lot of different things. Even builders. So, what sports do you do now, Adriana? I just play soccer. Play soccer. So, you think about soccer, you think about cleats, you think about a soccer ball, you think about uh, the time because you probably play some indoor, indoor or outdoor? Yeah. Indoor and outdoor. A little bit of both, right? You got to have a facility for that. You got to have referees. You got to have coaches and things like that. Volunteers, uniforms. You also have to pay for shin guards, socks, shorts, shirts. And who pays for that? Do you pay for that out of your own money? No. Who pays for that? My mom and dad. Mom and dad. And how how are they getting the money for that? How? You guys have any ideas? Can you help him with his with his headset? 
So Sebastian, how does mom and dad pay for your sports? Do you pay for that yourself? Yeah. No. Mama does. Mama pays for it? And you. And you, that's right. That's money that we've saved and set aside for you to be able to play all those sports and activities, right? Yeah. Right? You have a lot of fun doing that stuff? Yeah. Hold yeah. on one second. Now, I got a question for you. Do you get an allowance? I just got it a week ago. A week ago, every week. And what's your allowance? Do you remember? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollar allowance, right? Guess what happens mm -hmm. out of that hundred dollars? Do you get all hundred dollars? Does that yes. go to you? No, you don't. You start off with that hundred dollars, but there's some there's some cost there, right? You got to pay taxes. You got to pay room and board, your electricity. You got to pay for for food and things like that. After all those expenses, how much is left for you? One dollar. That's right. So after those expenses, ta half of it goes to taxes, right? To keep you safe and mm -hmm. keep the roads and the cars uh, yeah. up to date and active and safe for you. And that's what you're left with is a dollar. And you save your money. And what do you usually buy with that money? But I don't want to waste my money. You don't love to waste. I know you You do not like wasting your money. I know that. But what do you like to buy what with it? What do you like to money? buy with it, though? What are some things that kids like to buy? What's what your are, favorite toy? toy? What have you toy? been wanting for the past, like, 500 what weeks? What store is your favorite store? People want to hear about that. Yeah. Toy what do you build with? What do you like building with? What have you been asking mom and dad for? Legos. 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 And you know, Legos is one of the oldest companies uh, that's still around today. That's a private company, right? It's so you can't go, company. yeah, you can't go and buy stock and, and, and own dad, stock in Legos. Dad, dad. You can't, but you can buy dad, Lego guess sets. What? Guess what? What? Um, today, mom, yesterday, mom said in bed, I can have a Lego. Um, if I don't even ask about it to her, but just don't tell her I didn't ask it. Don't keep begging for it. Don't tell well, you okay. actually didn't ask today. That That's I great. asked you. That's great. Yeah, we have to ask these questions, so, right? So, so um, she said I could have it if I don't ask, but don't tell her. Don't so, tell her. So, I won't um, tell her. So, so, um, so then I got a question for you guys. I, she said she would give me a surprise. She would tell me no I believe or yes. It. I believe it. So what grades are you guys in? What grade are you in, Adriana? I am going into fifth grade. Fifth grade. And how about you, Sebastian? I'm, I'm in kindergarten, then I'm going to first grade. That's right. Now, how many grades are there? There is 12. Okay. So 12th grade. Now you're seniors. What happens after 12th grade? College. 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 College is optional. College is optional, right? But do you think you're going to go? Yes. What do you think you're going to study to be? I don't know. But Not I, sure. I, I no idea? Go. What do you want to be when you grow up, Sebastian? All the jobs. All the jobs? What if you could only pick one job? Yeah. What would that job be? Yeah. Build. You want to be a builder? No, An two engineer? jobs. Do you two want jobs. two jobs? Well, let's start with one. One at a time, right? Don't you think that'd be a good thing? Would you want to... Work in the Lego store and sell Legos to people. And wow, I'm that would be a cool job. And I'm yeah. going to keep one for me. You're going to keep a few Lego sets for yourself? Yeah, you yeah. could build a little character and I make it a keychain. So how do you guys plan to pay for college? Who's going to pay for it? My dad. Your dad's going to pay for all your college? And my mom. And your mom? How about yeah. you, Sebastian? How are you going to pay for college? Yourself? Yeah. H how do we do that? How are we able to do that? Lots of money. Yeah, lots of money and time and effort and budgeting. And we save. We put money yes! away. Yes! Whoa, Whoa, you like that. Yeah, he likes that. So, Sebastian, when we give you your allowance, some of that money goes into different types of accounts. One's your college account. Remember, we call that the, yes! gr the green account. And then you have yes! a... Okay, that's great. That's loud. And uh, we have another account that's set aside for you for other things, too. We don't just put all our money in one basket, right? Is that Dad, right? Don't show mom in the podcast. No, I don't think mom would be watching the podcast. She does. Uh, she cringes when she watches me do the podcast. But Yeah, she's not a fan. She's not a fan. But she did it with us before. Yeah, she did do a podcast. One episode, I think. Maybe we'll have to have her on as a guest guest host another time, right? Didn't, but I can't say a Lego. No, you won't ask for Lego sets. Didn't I do a podcast with you and Aunt Lisa like a really long time Way ago? Way back in the day. In 2014, you did. Did I? Marianne. 
You weren't born yet. Is that you were not born. No, remember that? So what do you guys think? If you could pick one thing that you think is really important about money that you think I could help your kids with. And I'll say this. I had the best, the best conversation with my son, Sebastian, in the car the other day. He said to me, dad, dad, I got a question for you. When I have bring a friend day, would you be my friend? And I said, well, yeah, of course I'll be your friend, but you could bring anyone. You could bring your grandfather. You could bring your cousins. You could bring somebody older that you look up to, maybe your hero, somebody that you want to bring to class and show off. And he said, dad, I want to bring you. What about me? Um, the next. That may change. Well, do you know what? So I asked him, I said, Sebastian, why do you want me to bring me to your class? What would I do that's so fun and exciting? What did you say? Do you remember, bud? Remember what you told me? So you could tell all the people how to learn how to save their money. I that my heart melted when I heard him say that. That is awesome. Give me a high five. All right, give me a high five, Adriana. No, I'm gonna give you a hard one. A hard one? Okay. Well, we don't want to get too crazy. This is a podcast and it's a limited show, so we don't want to get too nuts on camera, right? Whoa. Maybe after. So, Sebastian, you wanted me to come to your class and teach them how to save and protect their money. Those were the two things you said to me. And you know, that's what I do for a living. What do you think this is the most important thing to you guys right now? So if I was, if you won the lottery today, what would you buy with that money, Sebastian? Any idea besides toys? I would buy all them two houses. Two houses. I One house for you. And who's the other house for? No, I'm going to build a bridge to go to that house. I love it. And how about you, Adriana? Well, first, I would buy myself a new phone, and then I'd give some of the money to my parents. Love it. Do you know what Sebastian said? Uh, any ideas what else you could do with money? What if you had a lot, a lot of money? I, 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 I would buy, buy, um, I would be a millionaire, and I would buy a mansion. And you know what he told me the other day? He's not saying it on camera today, but he said he would help some people if he had a lot of money. And he has helped people before when we made donations to charities. Wasn't that a lot of fun when you were able to help those kids? And you got Only to actually one. pick the kids. You got to help one kid. You got to actually pick the kid that he wanted to help. Not just hundreds of kids with, with no name, no face. He got to actually see the kid that he was helping, which is pretty unique. That was really, really cool. What was his name? What was his name? Do you remember? You don't remember his name? No. Was it Noah? Yeah, his name was Noah. But not your cousin Noah, but same name, right? So there's a lot of things you can do, right? We need money for living. We need to buy food, right? Mm -hmm. How about gas for the car? Yeah. Super expensive now, right? Mm -hmm. So, hold on. I'm oh. going to talk to you. Oh, yeah, you have some. Okay, tell me. Give it to me. Let's and hear I'm it. I'm going to tell them to the the children and everybody. You want to talk to the children? Go ahead. Um, so, um, you, I hope you keep your money safe. Um, 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 um. Speak up. I hope you keep your money safe. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> you hope the kids keep their money safe. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that I help people with when and, they retire. Uh, uh, hey, I got a question for you guys. What? Do you guys know what retiring means? Yes. Yeah, that I do. Means, that means um, you don't want to do anything and you retire stuff. You, yes, and it also means like if you're like uh, really old, really um, old, or you don't want to do you stuff, can't like work anymore, then that means you have to like stop retire. working and that means retire. That means retire. Stop working. Stop doing all, all the hard work and labor that you had to make money, right? So, yeah. It means you don't have to work anymore, Dad, right? I don't want it. That's okay. Leave that up where it is. So do you guys want to retire at some point? Yeah. When I'm really old. Well, you haven't even started yet. You haven't even started working. When I'm old, I'm still in a do job. You're still going to work? I'm yeah. working in school. That's my job. Work in school. And I like it. I like it. I think you guys are off on the right foot. You you both like school, right? I love What's school. What's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. I'm really smart. You in are. Math. math whiz. How about you, Sebastian? What's your favorite subject? In like, kindergarten? In kindergarten. Mm. Not sure yet, right? No. No, because you're going to have all day school. So you were in pre-K. Oh, you got to think about it. 
Want me to tell you a couple? No? Math, science. Social studies. I think I know the answer. Science. He loves his experiments. Yeah. And he wants to start his own uh, yes. YouTube channel. It's the playground. Oh, the playground. playground. So, so recess? Gym class. Gym, gym class, class, maybe. No, it's the playground. With all the sports you like to play, right? It's the playground. In school, I like play my, kickball. Like, you know, at preschool? Yeah, I know your preschool. Like. Not quite well. The, the wood one. I love it. Outside. I love it. So that's called a recess. When you go to play, that's called a recess. So do you guys have any idea what I do with my clients that I meet with every single day? This is my job, by the way. Looks like fun, right? Mm -hmm. Cool podcast room. You got all kinds of lights and fixtures and cameras and equipment. But do you know what I do every day when I meet with clients? What? Any idea? Sebastian, do you know? Yes. What? You do a podcast. I do a podcast. It's part of it. And you go to your houses and you do... Um... We help people save their money. I can hear you. We help people grow their money. Uh, Ooh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> that was like the economy right now. A little bit scary. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I think I really, really appreciate you guys coming on the show today. Whoa. <laughs> you sound like inflation. A little bit scary right there. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Anything else that you think our young listeners want to know about or should hear about? Yes. Okay, you got something. Let's have one thing from each of you. Sebastian, give me one minute. Let's have Adriana yes. talk. Tell me one thing that you think kids should know about money. So, like, so. if your parents say you guys could go on vacation and stuff, like, that's an, a privilege that you guys have to spend time with your family and go places. I love it. And you can't put a price on that. Yeah. Right. Because our time here is so limited. We don't know our health and how old we're going to be. And, and the time that you get to spend with your family together, no computers, yeah. no tablets and things like that. Right. Family yeah. time, vacation. And you can't put a price on that. Mm -hmm. Sebastian, your turn, buddy. Why don't you go ahead and share yeah. with us? What's one important thing you think kids should know or some younger yeah. listeners about money? Hey, sorry. Any other ideas? Save, save, save. Invest now. Save. Save. And, and if you want to buy a Lego, just don't buy it today. Just don't buy it today. Wait a day, maybe save your money and, and buy some later on. I like that. Good advice. Budgeting. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you're an early planner. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's all the time we have today. All right. First of all, thank you, Adriana, for being on the show. My niece, Adriana Gianvecchio and Sebastian Alexander. Thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. That's all the time we have today. Thanks again for listening to the Pennywise Financial Podcast. This is Constantine Kitronos here at Monarch Wealth Management. We will see you next week. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good day. Have a great day. You've been listening to Pennywise Financial, brought to you by Monarch Wealth Management. Constantine and David really care about their clients. They want to make sure you're happy, so you'll continue to hire them. There's no commitments, and clients are free to leave whenever they want. Think about being able to pick up the phone and call someone for guidance and advice on almost anything, from buying a car, selling a home, buying vacation properties, or even selling a business. Reach out on the website at monarchwealthmanagement.com. There are two offices in Rochester and two offices in Buffalo. Reach out to us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Or call us toll-free at 800-480-1580. That's 800-480-1580. Until next time, this is Pennywise Financial, signing off. The opinions voiced in this program are for general information only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult with your attorney, accountant, and financial advisor or tax advisor prior to investing. Securities are offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, and SIPC.